when we talk about Azure and organizations ask, how do I get off the ground? Where do I start? 90% of the time, the best place is with application operations. So you have an application that runs in your environment on a number of servers. Take that application by itself, move it into Azure, and go from there. Um, you know, there's a lot of that in the environment, and you may have apps that you've bought. Is any of that something that you can stop doing using the SaaS model, or you know, moving to a different solution that you can develop yourself on Azure? Is there anything that you want to build? And that's uh, that's a really good uh, transition and solution for Azure Pass and creating websites and applications, um, and kind of taking that burden off of your infrastructure. And then kind of looking after that, you know, this is the next step. Probably what you're going to do is kind of leave 80% of your stuff alone. Um, look at your quick wins. Look at the stuff that's going to be easy to move over. Start with that. Get familiar with the platform. Get familiar with the, you know, kind of the management requirements and procedures. And then transition from there. And the, the beautiful thing about Azure is you're only paying for what you use. So you're not, it's not like you're provisioning an entire new data center that you have to get lots of stuff into to make use of it, to make it cost effective. Um, it could just be one virtual machine running, um, you know, IIS for a website. And that could be it. And that might cost you 10 bucks a month or 15 bucks a month. And it's, you know, it's that idea that it doesn't have to be all or nothing. It, you can transition a piece at a time and learn as you go. Thank you.